Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the new video. This is class 2 EVS and I am Pushpa Gopan. Today we are going to start a new lesson. Lesson 15, Time, Space and Direction. What is called a direction? The course that is taken by us to go from one place to another is called direction. How many directions are there mainly? Do you know? There are four main directions. They are north, south, east, and west. Compass is an instrument that shows the directions. Okay, so we have learned direction. What is direction? The course that is taken by us to go from one place to another is called direction. As I told you, there are four main directions. They are north, south, east, and west. Now, look at the child in this picture. He is facing the rising sun. The sun rises in the east. East is in the front. The sun sets in the west, west is at his back. His left hand points towards the north and right hand towards the south. A map, what is a map? A map is a drawing of a place usually drawn on a flat surface. Here you can see a map of India. In this map, the four directions are mentioned here. You can see the top side of India is north and the down part of India is south. The right side is east and the and the left side is west. Students, one second I will revise what is direction. The course that is taken by us to go from one place to another is called direction. There are four main directions. They are east, west, north and south. Now look at the picture. In this picture you can see a boy is facing the rising sun. It's the morning time. The sun rises in the east. East is in the front. And West is the opposite side of east and the sun sets in the west. And west is at his back. Children, see, his left hand points towards the north and right hand towards the south. Now, let's move to the second point of the chapter, that is time. Do you know what is time? Our day begins with the sunrise. The time of the day is called morning. A clock tells us the time. When the sun is above our head, we call it midday or noon. That means it's 12 o'clock. The time after 12 o'clock is called afternoon. 
The sun does not move. It is the earth that moves, due to which is appears as if the sun is rising or setting. The sun begins to set in the evening. Slowly, slowly it begins to turn dark and it is night. Children, what is called a day? Do you know? The period of time from sunrise to sunset is called a day. The period of time from sunrise to sunset is called a day. The period of time from sunset to sunrise is called a night. How many days are there in a year? There are 365 days in a year and 366 days in a leap year. What is a leap year? After every four years, the February has 29 days. So, it's called a leap year. A leap year have 366 days. So, what is called a day? The period of time from sunrise to sunset is called a day. And what is called a night? The period of time from sunset to sunrise is called a a night. And how many hours are there in a day? There are 24 hours in a day. 24 hours is equal to one day and seven days is equal to one week and 14 days is equal to one Fortnight. One fortnight means 14 days. Children, how many days are there in a month? There are 30 days and 31 days in a month. Except February. February has 28 days. And in a leap year, it has 29 days. Other months, 30 days or 31 days. It makes a month. Then 12 months is equal to one year. There are 12 months in a year. Now I am asking, what are the 12 months? Can you name them? Yes, they are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Children, there are 365 days in a year. And 10 years makes one decade. 10 years makes one decade. 100 years makes one century. One century means 100 years. Now I am asking, what are the name of 12 months? Can you say? Yeah, they are. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. These are the 12 months. Children, let's see the days of every month. Some of the months have 30 days, then some of the months have 31 days. 
and now i am going to tell which of the months have 30 and which of the month have 31 days january it has 31 days and february 28 or 29 days march again 31 days and april 30 days only children i will make this point more easy we have january march may july august october and december this month have 31 days which are the months january march may july august october and december all these months have 31 days rest of the month have only 30 days like april june september and november remember february has 28 days or 29 days and children i hope you understood all the topic which we have learned today what all topics we have learned direction time these are the main topics we have learned today so please if you have any doubt you watch this video again and again read the chapter very well and please wait for the next video bye bye thank you